Yep, that's me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Astrid. You clicked this video because the title had you hooked. Listen, now if you're like me, I like to go to the nail salon, get pampered, treat myself and get my hands and feet done. Over an amount of time, you will start to notice that going to the nail salon and getting your nails done can kind of really do some damage to your bank account. So I take it upon myself to research how to do my nails at home. Before we get a little too deep into this video, make sure you are subscribed so hit that subscribe button if you aren't already give this video a thumbs up for me I would so appreciate that it helps me out a lot and I'm so excited and I feel very honored to announce that this video is sponsored <laughs> I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. This is the very first sponsor I've ever had in a video on my channel ever and I feel so blessed like this would have never happened if it wasn't for you guys. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now if you don't know what Skillshare is and you're sitting here like uh, Skillshare is an online learning platform that offers over 25,000 different classes where you can learn a new skill or even polish up on a skill you already have. They offer classes taught by professionals ranging anywhere from illustration, graphic design, music, fashion, crafts, or even learning how to glim up your own nails like I did in this video. Basically, there's something for everyone. Now, if you didn't know, my major is fashion design, so I'm gonna be using Skillshare to actually brush up on my sewing skills. I also have a heavy background in drawing. I'm 10 years self-taught, so I'm thinking of taking a couple of fashion illustration classes just because I really miss it and I loved it so much. Click the link in my description box below to receive two months, not one, two free months of Skillshare Premium. Summer isn't over yet, and if you're bored or you just want to learn a new skill or even brush up on a skill you already have, I highly recommend joining Skillshare and taking advantage of the two free months you guys have to take as many classes as you can or want. Now enough chit chat, let's jump right into this video so I can show you guys how I did these nails in the comfort of my own home for very cheap. All right, so first I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the kit that I ordered from Amazon and all that it comes with. It brings the instructions, of course, a 36 watt LED nail lamp, a package of 50 nail forms, one base and top coat, a bottle of slip solution and a really cute glass cup to pour it in, two nail files, a pair of curved tweezers and a nail cutter, six tubes of poly gel, each a different color, of course, a pink nail dust brush, a cuticle oil pen, a nail polish remover wipes and a nail cleanser wipes, two different baggies of crystal rhinestones, two nail separators, and of course the double head stainless steel nail pen, spatula on one end and brush on the other. So I received all of this for $30 and honestly it seems very worth it for the amount of stuff it brings. I wanted to give you guys a peek at what each color looks like as well. They don't have any names unfortunately but they are numbered. So this is number two. Number three. Number four, number six, number seven, and number eight. And these are all the colors side by side cured in the LED lamp. Disclaimer, I am not a professional and I am so sorry for how crusty my nails look. So I'm gonna be doing some prep starting off by pushing back my cuticles. Then after that, I go ahead and lightly file the surface of my nails to remove any shine. Please keep in mind that these nail prep steps are very, very important to prevent any kind of lifting. After that's all done, I'm going in with the base coat. I'm applying a thin and even coat to all of my nails, and I go ahead and cure this in my LED lamp for 120 seconds. I attempted the 60 seconds, and in my opinion, it wasn't long enough, so I switched to 120 altogether. The nail forms I picked, I made sure that they fit perfectly and covered from sidewall to sidewall. I'm going to be using the color number four for this nail look and of course the slip solution. Depending on what nail I'm applying poly gel to, I always make sure to squeeze a sufficient amount. And with that, I apply the poly gel onto the nail form. Using the dual ended nail brush side, I dip my brush into the slip top off any of the excess and then begin molding the poly gel into the dual form. The dual forms have really helpful lines when it comes to length and I'm the kind of girl who loves my nails long. 
Then when I think it's evenly smooth and ready, I stick the nail form onto my actual nail and press down, making sure to cover my nail entirely. I always make sure to clean up any excess that squeezes out on the sides and always smooth out the underside. Please make sure to do this or it will come out very lumpy, speaking from experience. Then I go ahead and cure in my LED lamp, of course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop off the dual form and this is the nail. Super easy and I absolutely love this color. All right, so I'm just gonna continue doing the rest of my nails. This poly gel is very easy to work with. It's really not too hard or too soft. I didn't have any problems at all with it. When I'm done curing all of my nails, I go ahead and trim my nails down to the size that I like and then of course I shape them. I love the coffin shape, always have, always will. I don't think I'll ever do any other kind of shape other than coffin. So after doing my shaping, I'm just going to apply top coat to all of my nails. Last minute, I decided to add some bling, so before curing, I placed some of these really pretty crystals that came with the kit onto my ring finger. Once I liked the placement, I went ahead and cured that in my LED lamp. I applied one more top coat to my ring finger just because I really wanted to secure the crystals more in place. And after doing a final cure, I went ahead and applied cuticle oil. And this is how they turned out. If you're interested in the same kit that I purchased, I'll leave the link down below in my description box for you. So definitely go check it out. I am in love with this nail look. It is definitely worth the $30. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really had a lot of fun filming it and learning how to learn a new skill, which is doing my own nails now. I'm super excited because not only can I do my own nails now at home, but I can also do my friend's nails. Getting my nails done or even doing them now is actually, for me, a form of self-care. And I really try to practice as much self-care in my life. Now that I can sit at home and put on Vampire Diaries and do my nails in the comfort of my own home, literally makes me so happy. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Video. I also wanted to say thank you to you for watching this video. Thank you to you guys for subscribing to
to me, liking my videos, <laughs> watching my videos, following me on my social media, is just really expressing as much love as you can to me and helping me grow on this channel. I really, really appreciate it and I really don't know what else to say. Like from the bottom of my heart, I really love you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Astrid Mancibo. I got a new Twitter. Go ahead and follow me at Astrid X Mancibo and I have a little secret for you guys. I'm behind everybody back on Twitter. As I said, I hope you guys love this video and I'll see you in my next one, all right? Bye.